Okay, my love, so this is going to be a message in regards to your twin flame. So whether you're feminine or masculine, this message is for you. I was actually really, really drawn to pull these cards because um, I felt a twin flame come to me as I was taking a nap. And I'm not sure whose it is, but I feel like it was a subliminal message to send out to the collective. So if this sounds like your situation, you know it was your your person trying to communicate. Or it just could be, you know, a message for me to send out to the collective about what's been happening with your twin in regards to your guys' connection. So as I was sleeping, you know, I was, you know, half awake, half asleep, obviously. You can, you can hear and feel things around you while you're sleeping. And, uh... So it was weird because I was sleeping on my back and I don't really sleep on my back. And um, as I was sleeping, my, my husband and my daughter were watching a movie in the living room. I think they were watching Bride to Be or something about a bride. Um, you know, when the mom and, and the daughter get pregnant at the same time. <laughs> something like that. I forgot the name of it. Um, so... They were out there in the living room watching that. I was in the room sleeping, you know, with the door closed and everything. And I felt a presence. And it touched me. Like, it literally caressed my face or was trying to move hair out of, off of my face very gently. But I felt it. And um, in the dream, I was on my computer. I was editing a video that I was uploading. Um on YouTube for YouTube. So I was editing it on a program that I don't even have, but in the dream it felt very familiar. So <laughs> so to me it was like they're watching you. Okay. Right away I got that because as I was looking at the video that I was creating on my computer, I the presence was right next to me. Right, right next to me, but I also felt like I was the twin watching the other twin if you know what i mean so subliminally to me i felt like okay they're watching you if you are on you know if you're a blogger if you're on youtube if um you're uh, you you know you speech you you're uh, you're a uh, you have your own uh <clears throat> radio station or whatever podcast they're watching they're listening they read your blogs all that stuff and they recently have been doing it a lot lately because I asked why and, and it says they're in a dark place. And go figure, I was in a dark room as I was sleeping. So to me, them astral projecting to me while I'm in my dark place asleep, you know, awake and asleep at the same time, best of both worlds, hello, they came to me. So they're in a dark place right now. And when they're in the dark place, they think about their twin. And they want you to know that they miss your hugs and your kisses. They they miss you in that type of way. And they feel very, very hurt. They feel heartbroken. And they sexually have been needing you. And they don't want you to go. So it's like them coming to me is, is, is like saying, please don't go. I'm just in a dark place right now. And on the bottom of that... In the dark place, it says, I love how our vibes collide when we are together. Now, this card flew across the room when it came out. So they're thinking a lot about how you guys, how you guys connect when you are face to face, right? So the bottom of that deck here is I've been thinking about you. So that's why I said they've been thinking a lot about how you guys collide. Um, your chemistry is amazing. So with the I miss your hugs and kisses, it says I will always find my way back home to you, which they do if they're astral projecting to you. <laughs> creepers. I'm just saying creepers on the bottom of a heartbroken. It's, I often fall asleep crying. I miss you with all my heart, which I felt because I did feel a very sad energy when it came to me. Um <clears throat> And we'll see why that has came out in a second. I, I feel like this is linked to, um, the, I'm just going to say it. I feel like it's all my fault. So they feel like 
it's all their fault that you guys have separated, obviously, and they get heartbroken and beat up about that. They may or may not show it, whatever, you know, but they don't want you guys to know that they are that vulnerable, especially if they're in a dark place. So underneath the sexually need you, it says, I find it difficult to press send in my emails to you, hashtag or draft it. So <clears throat> if let's say, for instance, somebody was married, taken, whatever, and the only communication you guys were having was through emails um, because you couldn't text message them or anything like that or on social media, it was forbidden. And the only way was through email. Well, and that has suddenly stopped. Well, they are, they have been definitely writing you, but they find it so hard to just press send and it just stays drafted. It kind of reminds me of the movie Twilight when, you know, Bella is trying to send, um, is trying to send emails to Edward and they just keep getting drafted. They don't go through. So that's, that's what I'm picking up with that. And the, you're constantly activating my sacral chakra. Well, you know, we have the sexually need you here. And then plus this card here. I'm like, okay, we get it. <laughs> oh, so anyways, then we have, we have unfinished business to take care of. So they know this is not over yet. It's not over over yet like it says i will always find my way back home to you and even though they feel like it's their fault yes they have been doing a lot of introspection and thinking about it, it says i feel like i have a nervous breakdown when someone someone brings you up okay so let's say you guys have mutual friends or connected to each other's families or someone brings up your name or your name gets popped up someone has a nervous breakdown like yo what happened to so and so and it's like they stutter. They don't know what to say. They get fucking nervous. Um, and then it says, I miss your silliness, your laugh, your kisses, and of course, sex. <laughs> so I take it you guys had a very sexual connection. And this is for the twins that have actually had union before. The same for those who've never met, okay? This is for those who's who's actually met their twin in, in the 3D. So... They are definitely thinking about the way you made them laugh, your silliness, your smile, um, and of course the sex, obviously, right? Because they love the way your vibes collide when you're together. That I feel like those two cards are linked up perfectly. So the bottom of this deck here, I can feel when you are upset with me. And they can feel it because, you know, if you're upset about them and you've probably stayed up crying, thinking of them, missing them. They also feel that they can pick that up, whether you're aware of it or not. When you are, when you have a twin, obviously they feel what you feel. Now, I, I'm not saying go fucking poke yourself like a voodoo doll so that they can, you know, feel it. No, <laughs> not talking about that shit, but, you know, <laughs> just putting that out there because people are crazy. So the bottom of the, the deck on top, it says, I wish I could just forget about all this. And I feel like that's also coming from the viewer. Because there's times where you, you wish you can just disconnect because it's easier on you. It'll make it easier on everybody. But that's so hard to do. So I was curious. I'm like, let me see what's behind this card. And it says, I've thought about anonymously sending you a gift. Um, You know, that has been popping up a lot. So I can't help but think, look, if they're thinking of you and wanting to send you an anonymous gift... Maybe to see how you react or if you post it on social media, they're going to spy on that just to get your reaction or just to see, you know, if anybody, if any other man responds to that, <laughs> trying to be, maybe they're trying to test you. I don't know. <laughs> but then on the side cards, we have spiritual, spiritual, my spirituality helps me see the bright side of this, con of this separation and time apart is teaching me how to be okay with being alone. So I feel like this is for the viewer. And so as much as you've been apart, you know, being on this journey, it is helping you be okay with self-love, being okay with fulfilling yourself and not needing your twin for that. I mean, it is a cherry on top, but this spiritual journey is teaching you how to be stronger. Okay. So yeah, guys, that's what I have for you. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've been feeling their presence lately um, while you're sleeping, coming to you as your projection. And obviously communicating through telepathy as well. All right. Love you guys. Bye.